What's up everybody? Welcome to the next tutorial. We are still in the world of symbols, so um, you should have done the other tutorials before because now we're going to advance a bit on uh, the world in the world of symbols. And therefore we um, get a bit abstract today because usually when you draw a symbol and it's quite obvious what you want to draw for instance like a coffee cup, a book or a sheet of paper or a flip chart or a toothbrush. You know it's quite easy because then you know toothbrush looks like a toothbrush so you draw a toothbrush quite easy. But how, how about abstract terms like transformation, leadership, crisis, digitalization? Those are terms that are kind of hard to capture in one nice symbol. And this is what we're going to practice today to find an, a symbol for an abstract term. And the way, the way we're going to do this is, is we, uh, we're going to reverse the process. So it's not about that we have the abstract term and then we find a symbol for it. No, we take any random symbol and try to think about what could this symbol stand for. And doing that, we can kind of get our head around and think uh, around a bit so that in the end, we, uh, it's, more easy, it's easier for us to find a symbol, for an, a symbol for an abstract term. And that's what we are going to do now. So, like always, get your pens and your papers ready and then let's start. So, the first thing, this, what, we, what we need now are symbols. So, on the one hand, you can pick like uh, any symbol from the internet or you can take an icon card like this. Or if you have done the other classes or be part of my online workshops, um, you should have gotten this one. This is my symbol cheat sheet my 30 most used symbols with which I uh, pay my rent. Um, but anyway, so you can also go to the internet, look up for any random symbols, go to the noun project for instance, and uh, yeah, start from there. So what we are going to do now, we pick any symbol, doesn't matter which one, could be one of those. So um, maybe just pick uh, the, the truck up here, put the other symbols to the side. And the first thing I'm going to do is because it's also about practicing drawing is to draw that symbol three times. So I take a pen and I draw it three times. So let's see, there's um, like this big rectangle. Oh, there's some two wheels, I forgot them. Something like this and like this. And there's of course the window. So I draw it one time, draw it another time, this time. I will take the wheels as well. So go over like this, go back two times and a third time even. So I sh should be getting better slowly in drawing the symbols. And this is, by the way, also a nice exercise on to get more confident with drawing if you just um, practice drawing and copy symbols over and over again. I will put in a bit of color as well. So like here. And maybe like here, like the guy's done on, the, on this card as well. Or like here. So, jump, jump, street. Good. Now we have practiced a bit our drawing and got a bit more confident this time in drawing uh, a little truck. And what we are going to do now is that we take two minutes of time. And in those two minutes, we try to think about as many expressions or synonyms or uh, topics this truck could stand for. Let me show an example. So I take um, a normal pen. So next thing we need now is some sort of a timer. I just take my phone here, put the timer on two minutes. So put your timer on two minutes. And in those two minutes, you try to think of as many expressions as possible. And then let's see what we got out of this. So are you ready? You got your timer, let's go. And I just, I always write them down, so it's, it's not about drawing now, it's just thinking about uh, the terms, so.
Okay, time is already over. And um, yeah, let's have, let's have a look at the uh, terms we found here. So um, they are pretty obvious ones like uh, having a transport or traffic, logistics. Um, there are more abstract ones like we have here the treasure or the globalization. Uh, we have one <laughs> that, doesn't, that I don't like that much like, uh, I don't know, last mile or big wheels. Wheels is a bit stupid. But also secure and speed and delivery, vehicle traveling. So there are many words that we, many expressions that we just found for this one symbol. And um, so now, next time I see, I see a truck, um, I think of all the symbols that are of, of all the expressions I found. And this way I can train myself. So the next time I need to, need to draw a, a symbol, for instance, for logistics or for globalization or for um, delivery, it's quite easy, I will just take the truck. And this is a really nice way how you can basically train your visual mind to be a, think a bit more abstract and find easier uh, a symbol for like an abstract term, like for instance, uh, leadership or transformation. So with that, I leave you for now and um, go on the internet, pick some random card, uh, take any symbol, play around with it until you got I don't know, 10 to 30 different alternatives in expressing um, some sort of a topic. And we, once you do this quite often, you really get like this kind of abstract, twisted um, thinking that you need for to visualize abstract terms. And I hope this also works for you. So, like always, if you like the video, the li like the short tutorial, please give it a like, um, comment, and uh, let me know what you think. And see you next time. Bye.